As the name suggests, rigid body constraints is used to restrict the position and rotation of a rigid body. So for example, if you click on X, it means that you're restricting the position of a rigid body in the X axis. Similarly, clicking on Y in the rotation means you're trying to restrict the rotation in the Y axis. Let's see some example to understand how these options can be used. So now I'm currently in VR and I'm going to use this bow in order to shoot an arrow on the car. So I have just shot the arrow and you will notice that the bow gets stick to the car in that exact position and rotation. Let's look at the hierarchy to understand what's happening. So if I click on the arrow, you will notice that the position and rotation of the arrow is frozen. I'm doing this in order to make sure that whenever the arrow collides with anything, it takes the same position of the object and it stays in the same rotation as it was traveling. So that's why I'm checking all the options over here. Obviously I'm doing this change through code and, and I'm going to show you in a moment how to do it. So let's say you're making a very simple hover vehicle which flies around, but currently you will notice that if I collide with any of the buildings, the car completely loses control. But, but if I click on the freeze rotation in the X and Z direction and hit on the play button, you will notice that even though I collide with any other building now, the rotation of the car is maintained and I'm still able to control the car even after collision. So this can be another use for the rigid body constraints option. So this is how you will use the constraints through code. I have written the comment so you can understand. Remember this one is the bitwise R operator and it basically means that you want to freeze in X position and freeze in X rotation for this particular case. And you can use the bitwise R operator as many times as you would like. So currently I'm using here three times just to show you guys as an example. So remember this is the bitwise not operator and basically you can imagine it as something which is subtracted. So here what I'm trying to do is that freeze all the position and rotation and from that subtract the freeze position. So if I go to unity it means that freeze all the position and rotation and from that subtract the position Z. So that's what basically this particular line means.